Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today, we're going to be covering a, uh, a kind of a special skill, actually. This isn't really one mechanic. This is actually a set of skills which I was asked to cover for a tutorial. So, what we're going to be going over today is... <coughs> What we're going to be going over today is a set of skills that basically, well, if you've ever seen the Avengers and you know of Hawkeye and how he pulls out like 20,000 different arrows for different things, it's basically that. So we're going to go ahead and just get started with this. First, you're going to need your mob file. Here is just a bunch of basic stuff. This is just me playing around with equipment just to kind of make him like a skeleton. Um, I. This does work better with a uh, with any other mob that can wield a bow other than a skeleton, ironically enough, because skeletons will continue to shoot arrows at you um, even when they're not using skills, whereas a zombie, for example, uses the shoot mechanic, which I will be covering shortly, uh, in order to shoot the arrows at you. So, first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to have to... Excuse me. We're going to want to add a um, a stance to the zombie whenever he spawns. This can be done using uh, modify mob score as well. However, we're going to stick to stances because it's pretty straightforward and you can actually name it, which helps keep you on track. So, first off, we have set stance. Stance equals arrow 1 at self on spawn. That means whenever he spawns, he's going to have arrow 1 as his stance and he's going to fire off the first arrow that we create. Uh, another quick thing I'm going to cover real quick is this action message here. This is basically just going to tell us what stance he is in whenever he is alive. You don't need this, however it's a wonderful tool to have for debugging. If you decide you just want to go ahead and copy and paste it down, um, just go ahead and throw a little pound sign hashtag in front of it to disable it whenever you're ready to go. If for whatever reason your mod bugs, all you have to do is delete that, save, and he will start showing his stance in a little action bar message again. Now then, we're going to want to create at least two to three or more different skills here. As you can see, I have them all named. Blinding Arrow 1, Poison Arrow 1, and Confusion Arrow 1. We're not doing anything special here, we're just making them run the skill at self on a timer of 10 seconds. Of course, you can make this be whatever you want, however, you will want to make sure that they are all roughly on the same timer. Otherwise, you can get some very weirdly timed combat effects. So let's go ahead and jump into the skills and see what's going on here. Take into consideration we started with Arrow 1 as the first stance whenever the mob spawns. Okay, so now we're over here. Blinding Arrow 1. Stance, Arrow 1, true. The first thing I want to cover is when you're doing this, Add a small delay to this. If you have a set stance within a skill um, and you don't have any sort of delay, it's just not going to be used and it's going to stay with the first stance. I'm not sure why it is. I think it's because the scripts, which is technically what these are, they get read so incredibly fast that it just doesn't even know to switch stances because it still thinks it's on the first one. So make sure to add that delay before you use any sort of other mechanic in here. Next, we have the shoot mechanic. Shoot, type, arrow, velocity, you can set whatever you want. Five is really fast, but I didn't change it. I literally just kind of copied and pasted from the manual here. Next, you add your on hit, or you can alias as OH. This is the skill that's going to be used whenever, it, uh, whenever the arrow, or whatever you specify, hits a player or entity. So we have it set to use blinding arrow to at target, and after that is used, it's going to go ahead and set its stance to arrow number two. So after it shoots its first arrow, it's now ready to shoot its second one. But before we get to that, we're going to look at what blinding arrow two is. Blinding arrow two is simply a potion mechanic. Of course, you can make it be whatever you want, such as like effect explosion, pull, uh, velocity, damage, whatever you want. But for this, we have potion. The type is blindness, you're going to want to add force to true just in case your players have other potion effects. And then your duration, I highly recommend making it be half of whatever your, uh, you know, whatever's going on over here is. Just because it kind of keeps it like 5 seconds in between each arrow or however many you have. 
just a rule of thumb. You don't have to, but I think it's more convenient that way and easier to not get overwhelmed. Now, as you remember, we had it set stance to arrow 2 at the end of this skill. So whenever it goes to arrow 2, it's going to use poison arrow 1 because its condition stance equals arrow 2 will be true. Again, delay, shoot mechanic, set new stance, um, and then here's your actual like on hit mechanic. And then same thing down here, except when we switch to arrow 3 and it runs this one because it's set to arrow 3, if this is the end of your sequence here and you want him to restart again with all the arrows, you're going to want to make sure you do set stance, stance equals whatever your first stance was, which for us was arrow 1. As you can see, they are both green. That means they are both the same thing. Um, you can continue this sequence as long as you want. However, I only did three for the sake of this tutorial, and I, it might just be easier for you to only do three. But again, that's up to you. You can go on infinitely if you would like to. So let me go ahead and spawn him in here. So as you can see, there's his action message at the bottom saying arrow one. He's going to go ahead and shoot me. Oh, I'm in god mode, sorry. Okay, so, but as you can see, I got blinded, and now he's set to arrow 2. Then he's going to shoot me again. Okay, now he's ready to shoot arrow number 3, and he just poisoned me with arrow number 2. Whenever he hits me with arrow 3, you can see I got the nausea effect and I, he switched back to arrow number one stance. This means it's when he's going to hit me with the very first one we specify again, which was blindness. So let me go ahead and heal up here and kill him off. Now again, you can make it as long of a sequence as you want. However, I just did three for the sake of this tutorial. I hope this answered your guys' questions that you may have had about that mechanic or set of mechanics or even skill chain. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a comment down in the section below uh, asking what you would like to see covered in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.